My name is Melissa Lynch. I am a researcher in DCU and I am a lecturer as well here in DCU and I am a full believer in advocating for people, especially people from low socioeconomic backgrounds. That's my thing is to give them a voice and an opportunity to succeed and progress in life with no barriers. To me, social economic discrimination is putting up barriers towards people, individuals or groups based on their social class or their economic status. So in a nutshell, really what it means is judging people or discriminating against people based on where they come from, the clothes they wear, how they speak and the wealth that they have which is all beyond their control because unfortunately we can't choose the lives where we are born into the opportunities that we're offered. It's wrong on so many levels but it's wrong because nobody in life should have a right to judge or discriminate against anybody because nobody's better than anybody else. Nobody should feel that they're in a position to judge other people or discriminate against other people no matter where you come from or who you are or how much money you have or how much money you don't have. Everybody has a right to progress in life, to have opportunities. They shouldn't be brick walled or stopped from doing anything just because of where they come from, how they, again, how they speak or dress or how much you have. So people from low socioeconomic status will judge people from more affluent areas. And that's just because it's ingrained in you from where you, when, you, when you grow up or where you grow up. And unfortunately, it's a culture thing. So you're just seen as, when you come from low socioeconomic status, you're seen, you see people from affluent areas as the posh people, the people with the money, the people that are going to judge you, you know? And then from the high socioeconomic status and the more affluent areas, you see people from low socioeconomic status as the poor people, the people that are getting everything free of social welfare and all these things. And it's not our malice, it's just about uneducation. It's uneducation and like a lack of, you know, I suppose cohesion between cultures. So if we don't, if whatever side we're from or whatever area we grew up in, if we don't have that opportunity to, you know, interact or, you know, work together or learn from each other, well then how can we understand each other? And then the only way to break those barriers is to actually bring them together and get people to educate each other, learn from each other, from people from one area to see that, oh wait, they're no different than me. We're the exact same. We just might have a different accent. We might just wear different clothes. You know, we might hang out in different areas and that's it. But I bet you if you put two kids together from, you know, four or five, they'll see each other no differently because, you know, that, that's built into you as you grow up without you even realising it because of where you live and what you grew up in. Kids have no biases. Kids have no judgment. They just see and play with whoever is in front of them. So where does all that stigma come from? Where does all that hate come from? Where does all that judgment come from? It comes from what we're around and what we're exposed to throughout our life cycle. And it's just about finding ways to bring people together in a more kind of, I suppose, inclusive way and just a more just a non-normalised way. It's like when they create social housing and it's like that area is for the social housing and all the people that are getting the free houses have to live here but all the people that can afford these really expensive houses live here. So you're already, you know, dividing people. Why is communities made in disadvantaged areas and, you know, affluent areas? Why aren't they just areas? Why can't we all just live in different areas? And in that case, then we'd all integrate. It's like the way we have desk skills and non-desk skills. Yes, they're to help and support certain areas, but why are they different? Why aren't the supports the same? Why aren't we all just getting the same level of input? Do you know what I mean? So the, that thing of equity and equality, equality is giving people the same, everybody the same opportunity. Where equity is realizing that not everybody starts at the same starting line, you know, and realizing that. And if you realize that people don't all start at the same point and you need to help and support people to get to have that actual equal opportunities. It's, it's really important and from being a person that has come from low socioeconomic background and being able to break down barriers and obstacles myself to get to where I am now, you know, for me I think it's really important for that visibility. It's that visibility of being normalised, for it to be, you know, so people on the forefront without realising it start to think this is, I can't do this because it's a law or whatever, you know? So people don't automatically think, oh, I can't judge against that person because, you know, they, they live in a certain postcode. They just go, oh, well, they just see it and go, just say, I'm going to give you an example, Dublin 70 and Dublin 6, right? So if, if a CV comes in to an employer and they have those two postcodes, they might look and they might have the same qualifications, but they might say, oh, well, they probably would, you know, fit in better here in this society or this job or whatever, because they would, 
fit in with the people that are already there. So they might go with a post goat, you know, for that role, even though both people are capable. You're judging people based on where they come from, not on the person. And nobody should be judged on anything except for the person they are. And we, how are we going to get to know the people they are unless we actually get to speak to people? As I said, I, I've progressed now. I'm a researcher here in DCU. And yet, if I, I still live in Dublin 17. So I walk down the road and I'm still walking around the area that I come from. And I could walk up to a guard and the guard would still see me if I'm in, you know, me in regular skivvies, you know, me tracks bottoms and whatever. You know, straight away it's like, well, what are you doing here? Where'd you come from? You know, all this stuff. Yet, I'm being judged because of where I live. Why, why am I being judged based on where I live? Do you know what I mean? They don't know me. They don't know what I do. And if I say, oh, wait, actually, I do research in helping people progress out of, you know, in education and all this stuff. Or, or sometimes you t I could turn around and say, oh, yeah, I work in DCU. And they'd be like, you, you, you do? You know, it's kind of like that judgment of how you come from Darndale. How did you come from Darndale and do that? I even actually, I taught students before and like that we went in and um, they were like, was giving them the background and I said where I was from and they were like, no you're not. How could you be a teacher and you come from Darndale? They were like, you must live in Blackrock or something. And I was like, no I don't, I know your brother and I know your uncle and I know your, you know. And it's like that judgment of you can't be in a certain position if you come from a certain area. You know, and that, that's, it's wrong, you know, on so many levels. But also, as I said, you can get judged based on where you live and how you dress or what you look like at that time or how you speak. So, as you can see, I'm quite common <laughs> and I don't have the best grammar or pronun pronunciation. See, there you go. I don't have the best pronunciation. However, that's just obviously from the way I grew up and where I grew up and all that kind of stuff. But that's me. And when I first began teaching, I used to hide that and I used to try to speak a certain way and, you know, act a certain way when I was in certain situations or around certain people until one day somebody said to me, why, why? And I was like, because like they'll judge me or I sound really common. And they're like, you don't sound not common. You have a North Dublin accent. You are from North Dublin. Do not be ever cover up who you are because that's who you are. And then when they said that, I kind of went, you know, I never how and hide who I am again because yeah, I am from North Dublin. No, I'm not ashamed to be from North Dublin. I'm very proud of where I am after coming from what I've came from. Do you know what I mean? So it's to allow that be normalised that you don't have to speak or act or be a certain way to be in a certain position. You just have to be you. And people will either accept you for who you are or they won't. But people that are not worth your time won't accept you. And the people that are worth your time won't care, won't care how you speak or what you look like or what you're doing. You know, and you have to kind of realise that and have that confidence, build up that confidence of it doesn't matter. You know, you just be you and people will either accept you or not. You know, and that, that's a hard one. And I think especially people from low socioeconomic backgrounds, that's a very hard one to, I suppose, encompass because they're so, it's so ingrained in them that, you know, they're put down so often or they have to hide or where they're from or they can't say, oh, I'm coming from Kulak or I'm coming from Tala or they can't, can't say they're coming from those areas in that fear of rejection. And that rejection is built up. And when you build up that rejection, you, you start building up those barriers of how you hide yourself. And we become so hidden, but forgotten about who we are. I just think it's very important to, to realize that we do need to, you know, give people that confidence and give people that, you know, care that they can always, you should always be yourself, no matter what other people think. Because without being yourself, you'll never truly be happy. You'll never truly be who you are. And that's why I think getting the tent ground added would be really important because again, it gives that visualization to people that yes, be who you are. You cannot be discriminated against that. Don't be afraid to say, I come from this area. Don't be afraid to wear whatever clothes you want to wear. You know what I mean? You should be who you want to be.